Okay, today we're going to be talking about the Epson L100 driver for Linux. Basically, um, if you look around the documentation, you might find that the Epson Stylus N10 or N11 driver is the recommended one. But in case you're in a hurry and you don't feel like downloading the N10 or N11 driver and going through the process of installing it, you know, most of the distributions include an Epson Stylus NX100 driver. If you use this for the Epson L100, you shall be just fine. Now, uh, when it comes to refilling the ink, when the printer estimates that the ink bottles would be running low, it will start blinking the orange light. And then once you use it even more, then it'll come a time when the orange light will stay on and the printer will not work. That is a time when you have, can fill in the bottles and you have to also reset the counter. To reset the counter, you need the Epson software, which is Windows based. And to run that, you will have to either have the dual boot system or a VirtualBox machine. How you run VirtualBox inside uh, Linux to run a Windows system, that will be inshallah given in another presentation. Now about the Epson L100, why is it so useful or important? Basically, it's a CIS printer. Uh, CIS means continuous inking system and what happens is before CIS was available but you had to install it yourself so you had these bottles and cartridges which people used to install in the printer in some cases they had to break some of the casings of the printer avoiding the warranty and even though the printers were new they still had to be sort of like chipped around some areas to uh, install this thing in so why is this so important? Well, basically what happened is Epson printers were the best printers for installing this and then Epson decided that uh, they should provide this from the manufacturer directly instead of having it as an add-on later on. So now you know why the Linux users need to use this printer to get lower printing costs. Just to give you an idea, if you take an ATML cartridge, it's around 130 dirhams. That's something like $50, and that's approximately 1,625 dirhams per liter. If you get the Epson four bottles for this printer, they're like 70 ml times four, that becomes something like one fourth at, 1, 000, uh, at 535 dirhams per liter. But if you get a whole liter bottle from a wholesaler, you'll get it at 50 dirhams per liter for a whole bottle. So it costs 32.5 times to print less to print with a CIS printer than with a normal cartridge printer. And 32 times is a huge amount of difference. So for example, if you take a full page picture, it's 5 to 10 ml of ink per page. If you take a normal text page, it's a very small amount of like 0 0.03 ml. So with a liter of ink, you can print like 30,000 pages. And if you're doing the full page 1400 DPI, you can do 100 to 200 full pages of pictures that comes to something like 25 fills per page. That is like one dirham for four pages, which is pretty good. So I hope you found this presentation useful and be sure to visit our websites. And thank you for listening.